Yeah, we're just gonna chill out. Chill stream. And I mean it this time. I just wanna play this game and hang out. And I'll go on one or two rants. We're well, fine for all time's sake. Why not? There isn't a boy who won't enjoy a working for Captain Hook. <laughs> oh, shit. The chill stream today. Monk ass. You know what I should start doing? Anytime I just want to sit, just kind of relax and play and hang out. I'm just going to tell you it's going to be the most f***ed up stream ever. I'm going to tell you, man, it's going to be so exciting. There's going to be all kinds of crazy shit's going to happen today. So then uh, when it's the complete opposite, then we're good. It, it's, it's, that's how it's going to be, right? All right. So like I said, this is like Vampire Survivors. I know nothing about the game. I've been told this is unbelievably fun. I am so ready to play it. All I know is that there's this quest thing. And this is chapter one. I I cannot wait to play this. Metabolism one. Health regen, crit damage, and movement speed. Hey chat, which one? Hey, hey chat, which one should I do? Chat's complaining about the graphics? They don't know what the absolute... I almost just said fuck. Right? They don't know what the heck they're talking about. It's not about graphics. It's about... Gameplay. I can't wait just to start absolutely mowing down monsters. Really got to get that feeling of just absolutely mowing down monsters. You guys ever think that skeleton is like a really strange thing that we just like, oh, look, oh, yeah, a skeleton. This is, like, this is somebody's bones. Isn't like the concept of a skeleton kind of like weird in a way? That's like somebody's bones. That's her entire skeleton. I don't think about that shit, dude. <laughs> I think about taxes. Man, you know what I was really thinking about the other day? Man, man, like, we all have a skeleton in the inside of us. Like, yeah, dude, you know, there's way more pressing shit to worry about than, like, the fact that we all have skeletons in our bodies. Yeah, man, really think about it, man. There's, like, you, you, got, you got, like, bones in you. Jeremy, did you say that aliens are real? Yeah, I... <laughs> take, take me with you. Take me with you. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what... Guys, if, the, if aliens are real... Like, nothing we say is really, like, they might be pissed off that we, like, eat each other. You know what I mean? Well, not each other, but, like, think about, like, what if what if an alien species was like, wait a minute, you guys, like, you guys, like, kill and eat stuff? What do you mean? You, you eat, you eat things? You don't just take in, like, energy from the air? I don't know. They might be, like, annoyed that we, like, eat stuff. What is it? What would the na alien national anthem be? Ladies and gentlemen, we have landed on Earth, and we are going to play you our national anthem, first of all, to make sure you understand what we are all about. And it's just... Quack, 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 quack. Just a MIDI version of our national anthem. And then we play them the orchestral version, and they give us all their technology. This is exactly what you did last time. Yeah, well, if you go to, like, a comedy show, they're going to tell, like, the same jokes all year. You understand? Like, if you go to, like, a stand-up show, they have, like, a bunch of material that they wrote for, like, a year or two, and then <laughs> they come up with more material, like, two years later. <laughs> you need to be better than that. I'm just hanging out mowing down monsters, man. Remember, all of your jokes are bad. Um... I don't think all of them are. If I were to actually tell you what I really think, I think that probably... Probably like 20% of the jokes that I tell are bad. 30%? Hey, that means I'm batting 700. Even if I'm... Okay, even if it's 50%, that means I'm batting 500. Do you know that you can hit... You, you can strike out 7 out of 10 times and be one of the best baseball players ever? You could literally go up there and swing and miss seven times in a row and then hit three home runs and you're one of the best players ever. So let's translate that completely to, to, to my life. And a, a complete false equivalence that it means absolutely nothing next to each other. But I'm going to use these two points to tell you why I think that I'm doing just fine. At the very beginning of the intro, like right when the thing loads up and you, it says like press start to play, it should go, Welcome to the halls of torment! But you can just use that if they want. No, they don't. No, they can't. Never mind. <laughs> what am I talking about? I miss that. I miss when games used to just yell their title card. That was cool. Why, how, why did we get away from that? We replaced having an interesting voice acting at the beginning that just yells the title of your game to, like, 
uh, I don't know, like climb up the the tower and activate the radio, as like every game now. Bring back the fucking yelling the intro. Does Mario Kart still do it? Yeah. Does he still go Mario Kart? In Mario Kart, they even go a step forward, like a, another step beyond that. It's select your player. Choose your character. Yeah, Street Fighter does it, right? Street Fighter Six. Yeah, and of course you understand why Capcom is, is is just absolutely killing it lately. They just they say all the names of their games in their intros. Thought this is in VR. Yeah, I'm the character down there. Yeah, I, I, I'm just I I rented out a warehouse. Uh, I have like fifty or sixty thousand square feet here, so it's really roomy here. That's why I can move around this much. I can't decide if I like this joke. We have an we have an undecided joke voter here. What, how do, what do we do? What do we do to convince them? You're doing your make shit up voice. <laughs> it's so funny we talked about this before, but this is just the way I normally talk. <laughs> dude, why is he doing the bit voice? Oh, it's just like the way the dude actually just like kind of talks normally. And it's like a real voice. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off the other day. Do you remember when that guy did that Zoom call thing where he got like beat up in an octagon? <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know when you, you, okay. You know when you see somebody do something and you wish you made that joke? You guys have never seen that video of the, of the guys that link in a Zoom call and he's like a green screen behind him, like attached to a backpack on him. And he's in like an octagon and he's getting like beat up in his Zoom meeting. It's, it's fucking insane. Show it. I don't even know how to look for it. I just, I just remember seeing it. Keep an eye on that right hook, folks. Boy, Kenny, I can only imagine what the people inside this virtual call must be thinking. Whoa! Ouch! <laughs> it's so... <laughs> it's so funny. This game sounds like I'm sorting through a Lego bin. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> like, where is that fucking little square with the two pegs on it? And it needs to be green. Uh, this is why I keep saying I need to organize these fucking things. Did I just throw them in here? How am I ever going to be able to finish the Millennium Falcon now? How, when are you going to do the auto treat review stream? Um, I don't know. I don't want to give Otto too many treats. He wants all the treats to himself. You ever look at the back of a thing of dog treats or a thing of dog food and you go, I could survive on this in the apocalypse. I'll be fine. You ever look at the ingredients list and you're like, damn, okay, these like, these like really good treats for dogs. The I could probably eat these in the apocalypse. Stuns enemies for a brief period. Stun enemies can't move, right? Electricity, electrify deals damage 100 each tick based on the amount of stacks. Of <gasps> Ooh, that was a big, that was a bad one. Each stack decreases the tick time. When electrified ticks, it is reduced by one stack. I didn't read it. I didn't comprehend any of that. I'm going to go with ring blades. He's so drunk. <laughs> yeah, that was like a... Hey, I just... Uh, 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 um, can somebody read this for me? Remember, these are people. Well, they're... Well, we're in hell. So, okay. What do you want to say? It's devil spawn. These, yeah, these are not people. These are devil spawn. What are you talking about? No, this is the this is the non completely nondescript bad guy character. So you never have to feel anything about like, oh, I'm, what, what am I killing here? Because they're like, <laughs> yes, murder and torture and kill and like this. You don't feel bad. You can't feel bad about killing like demon imps. They've we've specifically been told this for like the last 100 years of any like media and video games and anything. It's just all oh, these things are just evil creatures that uh, hurt stuff. And we're also led to believe that they can just be kind of created, just like snap. Oh, there's like another 2,000 of them. What's some good British food? Beans, right? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> the only thing I think of when I think of British food is just like two big fucking sausages on a plate with a bunch of plain beans on it. And like that's it. That's like what I think of. But I would eat that. That sounds pretty damn good. Like, that's fine. I would be okay with that. That's um, This is not an insult to an entire country of people's food. No, I'm just, I'm, that's what I think of. I think of like two big sausages and like plain beans. And like, I think a toast, plain toast. All right, who has the best desserts? Who has the best desserts? I would say, 
I would say Italy. America and Mexico. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm trying to think of what my, like, really favorite desserts are. And they are kind of American. Unless, like, where did, like, banana cream pie, for instance. Who made that up? What, where did, who made the first banana cream pie? Who did that? That's your go-to dessert. I love banana, I, banana cream pie and banana pudding are two of my top desserts ever. And those of you that, oh my god, dude, are you 80? Oh yeah, like, uh, slurp up the banana pudding, right, old man? No, you, you, you've you never eaten it. You've seen a bunch of old people eat it and you laugh at them, but go eat it. Eat it next time. Dude, will you please read the nice comments? I'm a streamer, I'm immune to those. I only read the ones that say like, hey dude, like when are you gonna put a baseball up your ass? Banana ripeness chart? Where do you like your banana? All right, hold on. I, I, let me actually get it like a decent run and then we'll go over the banana ripeness. Because it's very specific for me. Because it depends on what you're doing with it. For a smoothie, I want that shit right before it's rotten. I want an overripe banana to be a good sweetener for a smoothie. How do you think about that? Yeah, I've got, hold on. I've currently got Tom Hanks voice. I would say like a little bit before being overripe is the best place to put it in a smoothie. But sometimes you really want it to have that really like sugary, sugariness. That's disgusting. Whatever. You don't have to eat it. But no, okay, is there peanut butter in it? If it's a peanut butter banana smoothie, then I don't want the bananas to be very ripe because I don't want them to overpower the peanut butter flavor. But then I don't want to use too much peanut butter because I don't actually want to overpower the banana flavor with the peanut butter. It's a very, very, very hard balance to get. Show me your webcam is on and your balls are out. Whatever. I don't care. There are kids here. What are you doing? They really shouldn't be. They just shouldn't be. They really shouldn't be at all. I mean, you, you know, I've, I've had the mature audience filter on this stream for like... Eight years. I just never turned it off because, I mean, we talk about some kind of fucking weird shit on this stream. It's not working, clearly. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. Uh, bananas are adult content only. <laughs> yeah, you guys missed it. We just talked about, we just talked about bananas for of, at least 10 straight minutes. These guys take two hits. Gotta try to get them down to take like one. I already took damage. I might as well just fucking uninstall the fucking goddamn game. What did this guy do to piss off so many skeletons? You know, I thought about this the other day. I mean, we, have we talked about this, but like the, the the prospect of like, oh, the bandits. Look out, adventurer. Make sure to kill the bandits that are surrounding us. There are like 70,000 fucking bandits in every video game and like 12 people that live in the town. What's going on here? There are more bandits than people that live in any of these towns, like times a hundred. At some point, are they bandits or is that just the entire human population outside? Ah, oh, a pack of bandits surround our camp. It's me, you, that lady over there. And a healing well. Adventurer, go out and stop the, the encroaching bandits. It's about as big as a, a, a small country's worth of people out there. They definitely could have taken that over. 100%. Like in D2, if they just like rushed the rogue encampment, we're all dead. They just, they've never tried. I'm going to sneeze, I think. I apologize in advance. I cannot hit the mute button because, well, actually I could pause it, but I don't want to lose the rhythm. <laughs> oh, well, geez. I feel like I've written something down that I really wanted to go over today. I forget what it was. I was like, I have to talk about this someday. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. All right. You know, like the fart sound effect sounds, you know, we all know the ones like that. But a fart sound effect. Don't you think it's kind of ridiculous that those may have been recorded like 20 or 30 years ago. Somebody farted into a mic and it's been used for 30 fucking years. Imagine being that guy or being that guy's kids. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's me up there. I'm, I farted into a mic 25 years ago and it's just, it's everywhere. Would you, well, how do, how would you feel about that? Imagine like you're just like watching a movie or something and you hear your fart. You farted. Is it embarrassing or is it like, yep, I get a lot of those residuals for, for the fart sounds I did. Yeah. I recorded 20 of them and they're all used and they, they, they use the same ones from like the same library for the last 30 years. About how does how does that guy feel now that he's like 60? A thousand people just left. <laughs> They're obviously not strong enough. <laughs> yeah, they, me and Holly were just sitting there and it's just like, like, yeah, like we just heard that fart sound. 
That guy did. Somebody had to have done that. You think it's somebody? I saw somebody say that they think it was a mouth. Somebody could do. I don't think so. Some of those are, are very, very real. I don't know why I just picture. And I don't know. You can think I'm fucking stupid for this. I just think I just see some guy just like, hey, yeah, Bill, we need like uh, we need a fart sound, I guess. I'm just imagining the guy taking this and it's like a standard microphone, the type of microphone that it's got a long cable connected long. It's about at least 10 to 15 feet long and it's plugged in somewhere and it's got that metal top like a stand up routine. And the guy just puts it like right between his cheeks and just farts right into it. He like, he like presses it up there. That's what I see. 18 plus stream. It's been there for seven or eight years. Okay. That warning has been here for a, a, no, you I, get the kids out of here. Get the kids out of here. They never should have been here. They shouldn't be here. Get the kids out of here. <laughs> kids. This is no longer a kid friendly discussion. And don't you think that the audio engineer after Bill like put the mic right up to where his ass is and did it and it ripped it. It was just awful. Do you think he's like, hey, Bill, that was fucking rancid. We should do another one. But this time, don't put the microphone like up to your asshole. You should probably do it a little further away because that was fucking disgusting. I imagine just having two headphones on just sitting there and it's like, yeah, I don't know if we can. I don't think we should put that one in. You know what I'm talking about, though. All you all that matters is at least 10 of you get it. You know what I mean? There's like there's like 13, 14,000 people here right now. As long as 10 of you understand what I mean by this and like you get it, that, then I'm good. I'm, I'm okay with getting the, the question marks from like 10 plus thousand people. As long as I know like six of you are like, yep, I see it. I know what he's, I know what's going on here. I get it. I don't care what the 14,000 people said. I care about what five of you have to say. The five of you that I made up that agree with everything I ever say. And there's nobody ever disagrees. And it's the five of you. I have Avengers in this chat right now, and you think it's you. You know what I mean? You're sitting there like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's me. I'm the one. <laughs> yeah, Holly just reminded me. So let's just take a let's take a little bit of a break and go over this because you're gonna, some of you guys are gonna really, really, you're gonna like this one. If you had any indication at all of what kind of player is playing the game of Team Fortress, so in spawn, when you see that flog pyro in spawn. And it's like, what the fuck is that guy doing? It might be AFK. I uh, got really high and just ate like almost a whole bag of chocolates and AFK'd in the spawn as a flog pyro for an entire round. If you're wondering who is behind the flog pyro, yeah, that's that's what we do. That's what we do. And and it, it got me thinking about, holy shit, I, di I just did that. I lost that match because of you. Yeah, I just, I had the flog out. And I was just sitting there, just eating chocolate. <laughs> and I was sitting there going, ah, I haven't really done anything this round. I think I walked out of the spawn and died once. And I think I fell asleep too. I think I fell asleep and woke up at the second round. So, <laughs> so that, if you're curious, that you're, you're right. You're correct. I am that Flog Pyro. DF2's greatest soldiers, thank you. Yeah, and then I, I walk out of spawn. And I get the 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 flog up the what the uh, the mm meter whatever it's called, <laughs> and it's <laughs> a sniper. It's like, dude, you you he's way too far away, and just holding down the crit fire, you're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. Flog pyros, listen to me. I'm telling you, we have to be better. We have to be better. Well, they were little chocolates. They were the little tiny ones. So I realistically, I probably ate like a bar and a half of chocolate. I, it was just the little, the little Hershey's mini ones, which you're never ready to eat just one of those. I might as well just buy the Hershey's bars, the full bars, because I always just eat a full bar worth of them anyways. What's the point of getting the little ones? What about Hershey Kisses? Hershey Kisses are good, and I know I look. Dude, hey, man, hey, wait a minute. Hershey's tastes like puke. Hershey's tastes like somebody puked in your face. Yeah, it's, I still don't, I like it. Yeah, and if you smell the inside of a bag of M&Ms after there's no M&Ms in it, it smells like somebody shit in your bathroom an hour ago. We all know this. Grandpa's on the food podcast rant again. I'm telling you, do not be surprised. Don't be surprised. I'm just saying, don't be surprised. If when I am retired, there is a food podcast that's like once every few weeks. Don't be surprised. I'm just, I'm telling you what is probably happening. 
Do not be surprised. You better call it food mode enabled. How one gamer saw his love for food turn into a, a second hobby. By the way, we don't talk about food at all on this podcast. At all. It's no, and when it's get, when it gets brought up, I get annoyed at the guest. Who is he talking to? My grandmother. She's right here. You keep doing such a good job at that game, Jeremy. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Grandma. Who the fuck do you think I was talking to? Don't listen to that person. Ban them. I don't even know who you're referring to. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> hey, ban that. Ban that guy in chat. Don't listen to them. <laughs> Imagine being at like a stadium. And I just hear from like row eight. Seat number like fucking 400. You gotta ban that guy. Ban that guy. Ban him. He's a piece of shit. And I'm just looking. I don't Who? Who? He's like, that guy, that guy, right there, that guy. And he's pointing. It's like, dude, there's like 600 people where you're pointing. I don't know. That, this one, this guy here? No, you fucking idiot. No, you're so stupid. You're way off. This sounds like shaking a bunch of colored pencils. It, that might even be more accurate than the Lego comment. Yeah, it's grabbing a bunch. And I mean at least 30 colored pencils. And when you do that, you get a, you pick up as many as you can, and then like six or seven drop on the ground. People are calling you the pirate of Twitch because you don't brush your teeth. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. They called me that. Ah, oh, my teeth are fucking black and gray. I don't brush me teeth. I never have it. I never will. That's my whole shtick. I look at it doesn't brush his fucking teeth. Ever! And I look into the camera and I go like, ah! I do that every, every like five minutes. No teeth. Come on. They'll, you guys are linking like pirate faces at me. Okay, this is I drank the chaos potion, but have since kind of learned to, to, to be okay with the chaos potion enabled. Yeah, this is 10 years later after I drank the chaos potion. <laughs> That's a, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Somebody said, dude, that looks like a Heroes of Might and Magic portrait. That's an actual good one. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let him hang out down here for a little while. Face cam. Oh, yeah, face cam. Look. Face cam tonight. I feel like that is going to just start moving around like a full motion video game. When I die, that... That guy over there on the screen is going to just start saying things. And then he's it's going to cut and it's going to be back to the regular place like right there. So he's going to be like, oh, almost had me that time. And then he's going to just cut back to being uh, static. Just keep this still as your face cam for the rest of the streams. If I actually looked like that, I would probably have face cam on every day. And I would just I would move my face around and be like, yeah, I, it would, I would be it would be so fun. It'd be so fun to have just like a full head of hair and a gigantic beard like that. I would make all kinds of face movements. I would be unbearable. Do a VTuber thing. <laughs> what have happened? Yeah, there's all there's lots of things that I've said I wanted to do but just never did it. We talked about the I don't know. Yeah, we did. I wanted to make a, a, a disgusting slime avatar. And just have a big cigar hanging out of the mouth and just be awful on stream and start at zero and don't tell anybody just like talk shit to people in chat like if somebody even asks like a very basic question just tell them like to, 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 to fuck off and just like make fun of them and stuff this this character would be unbearable all right if that account gets banned do i get banned or can i go no it wasn't me it was it was the goblin it was the goblin This fucking pirate picture is so weird. I kind of look like somebody cosplaying as a pirate that takes it dead seriously. And at a convention, you see the guy that looks like this, and you're like, "Holy shit, that guy take this guy. That guy means business. That guy means business." <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. Okay, I'm gonna use it. What is going on in the world, man? What is going on in the world? He got. He got closer <laughs> yeah i just i just leaned in like five feet 
This is just this is a different guy. This is not even me. Vine Sauce Raid, Vinny. What's up, Vinny? Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, Vine Sauce viewers. Oh, and my face cam was just off. Let me turn it back on. Throwing the beard out a little. Thanks for the raid, Vinny. Hope you had a good stream. I hope you guys had a good time watching. We're playing Halls of Torment. This game's fucking lit. See? I can talk. I, I'm, I'm with it. I'm hip. You have to see Austin Powers. I'm cool. I'm with it. I'm hip. Oh. What's the name of your pirate VTuber model? Oh, that's easy. Arthur. Everybody that came from Iron Mouse's channel, uh, you can leave now. Like that, I I, I get it. I, I get it. If, if you're, you know, oh, that was so all. I yeah, I get it. Like if you want to just take off. If you're here for, if you're at my community that's here. Now you can you can leave too. You can leave too. That was that was uh, that was a that was a lever. That was a lever. You can you can, that was like you're you're hovering over the X. Yeah, it's time to go. I got like dinner to eat and shit. Hey, dude, your hot pocket is ready. Oh, wow, that, took a, that took a while. How long has it been? Five hours? I don't think that it's edible anymore. I remember, I haven't had Hot Pockets in a while, a long time, but I do remember you'd get one bite that was burning hot that burnt your mouth, and then the one right after that sometimes would be lukewarm. But when you got it perfect, when it was, when it heated up just right, we're talking Goldilocks situation, it is perfect. Perfect temperature all the way through. The meatball Hot Pocket was my absolute jam. I probably lived off of those for a significant period of time. You know what else I lived off of? Corned beef hash out of the can. You're not supposed to admit that. What, that I like corned beef hash? The canned corned beef hash? Yeah, you cook... No, not raw. Alright, how come every time I say a food I like, you guys assume it is raw out of the box? Oh man, I'm a, I, you know, I really just love a nice salmon. Why are you eating raw salmon? I what? You said out of the can. Yeah, corned beef hash out of the can. Because you can get corned beef hash from a ton of breakfast places. You can make corned beef hash. It's just corned beef and potatoes and onions. I'm talking about like the Hormel corned beef hash out of the can. Not straight out of the can with a spoon. Like a... No. You put... An over medium egg on top of a serving of corned beef hash, Hormel. And then you. With Tabasco? Get out of here. That's like one of the best things to eat. Why do you talk about food so much? I think food is the, one of the most important things that humanity has ever created. I think that, like, our food and culture around food, I think, is probably our greatest achievement as a, a species. People think it's going to the moon. People think it's like. No, no, it's the guy that made a pizza for the first time. The, f the first person that's like, you know what? I'm the person that invented baklava. That's kind of remarkable. Uh, look at what we've created with food. Look at what we've created with food. Welcome to episode two of Food for Thought. Me, Grandpa Albert. You are a cartoon. <laughs> no, I just act like one on TV. People said you act like one in real life, too? Oh, I mean, I, I mess around a lot. Are you comfortable here? I think that's why I act the way that I act on stream. Because it is just like, I I, I feel fine. I feel, I feel cool here. I, I'm comfortable. Guys, I just, I, you can't shut me up. I'm, I just keep, I'll talk as long as I'm allowed to. Don't ever give me... Have I ever go to, like, a parent-teacher conference? I will just sit up there with the microphone and talk about Diablo 2 items. As the parent or the teacher? I mean, just, like, in general, like, as, like, the parent. Like, oh, I'm here to just... We're here to because uh, the school assemblies, we're going to hear what they're going to be this year. And here's here's the conference where we're going to go over, like, what the students have been doing recently. And No, I'll... I'll just... I'll, I'll, I'll fake an illness to not go to that. <laughs> Whose dad is this? Yeah, we're really excited for the next season of the uh, of the school baseball team. Uh, I really was curious uh, this year. Are we going to be able to have? Uh, are, are the gloves going to be provided, or we're going to have to get that as parents? 
Hey, by the way, gloves, speaking of gloves. I think that you should be able to put charge bolt on something besides gloves. I think you should be able to put them on, uh, let's say, say for instance, cleats, uh, boots. I think that would be, uh, that would be interesting, I think. Where's my kid? Your kid's not here. This is the parent-teacher conference. Oh, right. Anyways, Diablo 4 is not good. Diablo 2 is the real game. And then, and then you hear somebody, somebody starts clapping because one person cares about this. Uh, I want to, I want to get my fill of this, especially if they're going to update it tomorrow. So we'll probably, <laughs> this sounds so outrageous to say, but I'm going to say it. We're going to open TF2 boxes for like a half an hour. I might play like a round or two. Maybe I'll hang out and play some TF2 for like an hour. And then I'm going to play this. So I'm going to open up boxes for the first part of the stream. That feels odd to say. You said, you once said that you would rather have every hair on your body removed with tweezers rather than open crates on stream. I did? What? No. I said that? <laughs> That's not... How long ago? How long ago, though? More Was it more than five years? Was it like ten years ago? Link the clip. I've been, I've been doing this for too long. You guys just have every audio, every piece of audio I've said for 13 years, you just have it. I don't remember what I said 11 years ago. All right, so I said, oh, sorry, so 10 years ago, I said I would remove every hair in my body with tweezers if I did it, or I, whatever. I don't remember you saying that. You can't seriously expect my client to perjure himself over a conversation from 12 years ago. That's right. It was on the streamer simulator stream from about two years ago. Hey, things have changed. I've changed, right? Things have changed a little. I've changed. I'm willing to open up 15 to 20 crates in Team Fortress without removing all of the hair on my body. It's been two years. <laughs> Has it really only been two years? Yeah, I, you, okay. Post 35. I can't be like, ah, oh, you know, I was, I was like 20s. I said that and I didn't, that was literally like, I was, I was over 35 when I said that. You've massively mellowed out. I think that's just kind of natural though. I've gone through my 20s into my late 30s. So it's just natural. You're just going through the, uh, the natural order of, you know, dialing it back a little. That doesn't mean I still can't have a bunch of fun. I can still move. How about that one? Ow, oh, my arm. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's a... That's a blown out elbow. That's a blown out elbow. 